tuhoteleo katika nyumba ya bwana furahi ni mbele zake bwana imeni nyimbo za shamwe shangilieni pigele gele pigeni makofi kaluni mwake mbiyeni bwana wimbo mpya watu wote pigele gele pigeni makofi kaluni mwake mbiyeni kamisa hii tunazidi kumuombea babu yake Samuel Washera aliyepotea kwamba Mungu amlinde popote alipo na aweze kumrudisha nyumbani salama tunaombea pia roho ya mjomba wake Mungu aipumzishe kwa amani na familia yao yote ipate faraja Raya mdedo mpe bwana na mwamba mdedo mwangazie apumzike kwa amani amina tunazidi kumwombea pia Molento Kan ambaye anashirikia siku yake ya kuzaliwa leo Mungu amjalie baraka na siku nyingi zenye heri duniani tunaombea familia zote hasa familia zinazo pitia changamoto mbalimbali Mungu azidi kuwa nao na kufungulia njia zao za baraka. Tunaombea vijana wote wamjue Mungu na mtumikie kwa mioyo minyofu. sada wewe tuka dika jina la Bwana ndio mabingo na nchi kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu amina Bwana awe nani na awe rohoni mwako ndugu zangu wapendwa tujute nami zetu ili tustahili kwa ya mafumbo mtakatifu Wewe uliyetumwa kwa kunya wanao tupu moyoni Bwana uturumie. Bwana uturumie. Wewe uliyekuja kwa ida wa ukosefu Kristo uturumie. Kristo uturumie. Wewe uliyeketukume kwa Mungu Baba ukituombea Bwana uturumie. Bwana uturumie. Mungu mwenyezi aturumie. Atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Amina. Tuombe. Ya Mungu wa majeshi ambaye kila kilicho bora ni chako ututilie mioyoni mwetu upendo wa jina lako pia kwa kutuongezea uchaji uyastawishe ndani yetu yale yaliyo mema na ku na uyahifadhi kwa ulinzi wako imara yale uliyo yastawisha utubariki katika nia zetu umrudishe nyumbani babu yake Samuel na molent pia unjalie maisha marefu na yenye afya nje nzuri ya roho na mwili na familia zote zinazopitia changamoto uzituliza katika amani yako na vijana wote tunawakuinulia uwasaidie waweze kutambua kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaishi na kutawala naye katika moja ya roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele amina somo la kwanza somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Korinto ndugu hata kwenye sikuweza kusema kwa watu wa kiroho bali kama kwa watu wa mwili 
kama kwa watoto wachanga katika Kristo. Naliwarisha maziwa si chakula kibumu. Kwa maana hamkuweza kukiyosha. Hata sasa hamwezi. Kwa maana hata sasa nini ni watu wa kawaida si wa kiroho. Ikiwa kwenu kama wivu na ugomvi je, nani si nini si watu wa kawaida? Tena mnaishi kama watu wa kawaida. Mmoja akisema mimi ni wa Paulo na mwingine mimi ni wa Apollo. Je, ni alama ya watu wa kawaida? Apollo ni nani? Na Paulo ni nani? Ni watumishi waliowasaidia kupata imani. Kila mmoja kama aliyejaliwa na Bwana. Mimi nilipanda, Apollo alimwagilia maji. Lakini aliyekuza ni Mungu. Hiyo anayepanda anayepanda na anayemwagilia maji si kitu ila Mungu anayekuza. Basi mwenye kupana na mwenye kumwagilia maji ni wamoja. Lakini kila mmoja wao atapata thawabu yake kwa kadiri ya bidii yake. Sisi ni wafanyi kazi pamoja na Mungu. Nini ni shamba la Mungu? Jengo la Mungu neno la Bwana. Tumshukuru Mungu. Zaburi kutikizana. Kitikio. Heri taifa ambalo Bwana amelichagua kuwa urithi wake. 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 Heri taifa ambalo Bwana ni Mungu wake kabila aliyomchagua kuwa udhibi wake toka mbinguni Bwana anatazama anawaona wanadamu wote kiitikio heri taifa ambalo Bwana alichagua kuwa udhibi wake toka mahali pa kikao chake anawachungulia wote wanaokaa duniani yeye alifinyanga mioyo yao wote Aliangalia matendo yao yote. Kitikio, heri taifa ambalo Bwana alichagua kuwa urithi wake. Roho zetu zilizo mgonja Bwana, yeye ndiye msaada wetu na ngao yetu. Naam, mioyo yetu inafurahi katika yeye. Tunalitumainia jina lake takatifu. Kitikio, Heri taifa ambalo Bwana alichagua kuwa urithi wake. Tusimame kwa shangilio. Haleluya, haleluya. Haleluya, haleluya. Haleluya, haleluya. Haleluya, haleluya. Bwana amenituma kuhubiri maskini habari njema na kuwatangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao. Alleluia 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 Bwana awe nanyi Mwako. Somo la injili takatifu liliandikwa na Luka. Utukufu kwako e Bwana. Wakati ule Yesu alitoka katika sinagogi akaingia nyumbani nyumba ya Simoni. Mkwewe Simoni alikuwa na homa kali. Wakamwomba Yesu amsaidie. Akamwinamia kaikemea homa nayo na ikamwacha mara akasimama akawatumikia jua lilipo zama wote walimletea wagonjwa wao wenye shida mbalimbali akamwekea kila mmoja kila mmoja mkono akawaponya pia pepo walitoka kwa watu wengi wakigumia na kusema wewe huu mwana wa Mungu naye akawakemea wala hakuwaruhusu kusema kwa maana walimjua ni Kristo 
Kulipo pambazuka, alitoka wakayenda mahali pa ukiwa. Watu wengi wakamutafuta. Na walipo mkuta, wata... Na walipo mkuta, wataka kumzuia asiondoke kwa. Akawambia, imenipasa kuihubiri, kuihubiri, kuihubiri kuihubiria miji mingine pia habari njema ya ufalme wa Mungu kwa maana nimetumwa kwa agizo hilo akaendelea kuhubiri katika masinagogi ya Yudea injili ya Bwana sifa kwako e Kristo kama imewekwa ndani yetu kupenda watu wengine na kuwachukia ama si hivyo na watu wanakuwa na sababu zao kumpenda mwingine na kumchukia mwingine it's there that's why the gospel is there to purify some of those situations there is one time katika masomo yetu ya psikolojia I hope that's correct kuna swali moja ambao tulikuwa tunadiu nalo love and friendship um tawiza kansala wetu about that tawiza and the thing is, the question that came in kwa is jealous an essential ingredient of love in marriage ukingia kanisani utakwambia jelasi ni dhambi kuu moja wazo tumsifu Yesu Kristo i don't know when you na said but is love is jealous an essential element in marriage and the relationship that sacred in family i don't know but azaje kujibu tulikajaribu kujibu kujibu your soul and he said there is a positive side of jealousy but the negative part is what actually is very very sinful because jealousy will help you to self-guard what is essential for the permanence of the marriage. Positive. It helps you to build boundaries in the marriage. Okay? It helps you also to provide security for what you love most, especially your kids and your husband or your wife. Sasa, samu ya samu hawa wakatu wambia Mbona Wana wake uhuwanga na A lot of jealous Iyo na wachia God is good It proves A response To why there is a lot of Violence in homes Murder In homes excess excessive negative jealousy just there jealous so katika somo la kwanza Paul is actually anatusaidia kutufundisha the wrong motives of jealousy negative jealousy is a factor of the body flesh Ana semaje Um hata sasa ninyi ni watu wa kawaida si wa kiroho ikiwa kwenu kuna wivu na ugomvi this translation is not good <laughs> Ugomvi ni nini Unasikia? Conflict. 
Kwa Kiingereza they use the word quarreling. Ugomvi ni quarrel. So you see you also agree with me in the translation. <laughs> that is good. And then with what is it translated like in English? Yes. And what is envy? You get it? Actually, in some translations on a sermon, Chuki is related to jealousy. Because the agenda of jealousy is death. You can be envious of another, but we show on a sermon, a chat story. But jealous in marriages leads to death. And even in relationships, it leads to. So that's where the line is the very scarred. Jealous. The heart always desires that you know I terminate your life. That's it. These are fleshy habits, fleshy emotions. But they are the ones that you know for an attacker to sufficient. Now, anasema, kama hivyo vitu bado vimo katika maisha yenu, hamja kuwa kiroho. You will always live with sense, sense, what is this? Um, Envious sentiments, they are there. You will always live with jealous sentiments, they are there. But you do not, the fact that you do not choose to act them out into sin, God is in control. God is good. Sasa, kwa nini is to nafikia hali ya kusema mimi ni wa? Padre Award. Mimi ni wa Padre Joseph. Tumusu fi Yesu Christo. Mina ni amina. Misa ambao Padre Joseph anafanya. Inakwa na mambu tofauti na Misa ambao Padre Joseph anafanya. Lakini haya ndiyo mambu tumeshudia katika maisha yetu. Katika na in a distort the unity of the church which is one has four formats one holy apostolic and catholic moja takatifu catholic ya mitume in a distort that Mark of the church. Na poa na sema, kila mwenja wetu, mwisho we, if have to fikish it happen, kwa yesu, kazi yetu ni? Bure. And that's it. Katika mambo yotu nayo fanya ya utumi wa familia, mwisho, the family that prays together, should stay together. Conflicts will continue to be there, but God has taught us to deal with them. He has taught us to deal with them. Manjia moja ya kudilu with them conflicts, iko kwa njiri siku ya leo. Tumusif Yesu Christo. Yesu continued to heal. Aliendelea kwa ponya na kianzia kwa mkwewe simoa. Mimesikia. Wakaendelea na kazi. Na nini nikaoni waulize. Munafikiria hiyo kazi ya hiyo kuwa nafanya. Hakuwa na watu walio kuwa wanamuchukia. Jani. Juzi. Kasa. Nada. Kwa nini una kwenye watu siku ya? Sabato. Kwa nini una ubidia kwa watu siku ya? Sabato. Kwa nini una uusu watu wa? Kuhuje wako siku, isi ya istahili. Why? He continued, but he less focused on that. And he went above. To do the will of the Father. So, 
Number one way which I want to share with you, um, number one and two, <coughs> um, to deal with conflict and quarreling and what is this called? Um, jealous rise above. <laughs> but rise above perspective in mind in new heart rise above and to rise above is to focus on Jesus he will tell you what to do number two we have to say Alitoka akaenda mahali pa ukiwa. I haven't familiarized with that word ukiwa. But you can say we to live. To live. Resurrection garden. Quiet. Even in your room. In your room. Kuna wazazi wengine. Time yao ya kuomba it's about 4 a.m. Kuna najua 5 a.m. Hapu watoto wameanza kupika kelele. 4 a.m. Nana Joe. She still has 5, 6, 7. Your time is missing. 7, 8, 9. Before that, a time of noise in Abuja. In time, yak, yak. To get comfortable with your thoughts, to get comfortable with your emotions, to get comfortable with your. Uh, feelings when you say to God, This is who I am. Yesterday I failed, but today, don't fail me. That's what Jesus said. Now, from there, I can't move. What way I can put a foot up? Now, I can put a foot up. You regain your strength, you regain your center of stability, center of um, operation. Katika familia zetu, ndio hicho kitu tunataka kusisitiza. Time ya ukiwa. Wengine siku hizi wakijenga nyumba wanaweka chumba cha sala. Wakimaliza chakula cha jioni wanaingia kwenye hicho chumba wanasali wanaenda kulala. Pingine pia wa create your place. Padre akija aweze ku kuombea. Well, other kama is my to a bed sitter. Mm -hmm. Bed sitter, you just one room. Yeah. Haka hata kama ni bed sitter, ukona sit up, ukona meza hapa, ukona una zingine wakiingia room zingine. Unapata you know, wakona kapati kubwa hivi. Mahali pa na TV, lakini kwa kona hivi kuna sanamu. The crucifix or a picture of Mother Mary, it's a point of time. What is it that you have that you look at and say, my peace is inspired from this side? Create that space. Hala kama kwa zita zingine zinaitwa? Bed sitter? Single room. One bedroom. One bedroom. Aha. Bed sitter. One bedroom. Two bedroom. Two bedroom. <laughs> Double room, gungalo, whatever it can be, create space for that opportunity. Kama Yesu, na hapu tapata nguvu ya kuimarisha maisha ya familia zetu.
Mungu kubariki na mama wa Mwenyezi. Bwana pokee sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa manufaa yetu sisi na ya kanisa lake lote takatifu. E Bwana sadaka takatifu na ya kutulia yetu na tena ima baraka na ukofu ili jambo linalo tendwa kwa fungu likamilishwe ndani yetu kwa nguvu ya sadaka hii ya Kristu bwana wetu. Amen. Bwana awe nani? Na awe roho ni mwako. Ni mioyo. Tumeinua kwa bwana. Tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu. Ni vyema na haki. Kweli ni vyema na haki tena kufana na kuleta wokovu. Tumshukuru wewe mwana kupotee bwana babu ya mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa ya Kristu bwana wetu. Baada ya kifo chake kwa mapendo tunaungama ufuko wake kwa imani hai na kongojea kwa matumaini dhabiti ujio wake katika utukufu kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na watakatifu na malaika wote tunakusifu tukisema bila mwisho mtakatifu 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 bwana Mungu wa majeshi bingu na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako kwa sana juu mbinguni mbarikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la bwana kwa sana juu mbinguni Bwana kwa Mungu mtakatifu na chemchemi ya utakatifu wote tunakuomba utakatifu zipaje hivi kwa nguvu ya roho yako ili tuwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkata akashukuru kwa Omega na akapo kwa swahili akisema Twaeni mle nyote huu ni mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kome na kushukuru tena aliwapa wafuasi wake akisema Tayeni mnyo nyote ikiendeta kome cha damu yangu damu ya agano shwe na milele takai mwaka kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maneno ya dhambi Fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Kristo alikufa Kristo alipofuka, Kristo atakuja tena. Kwa hiyo Bwana tunapo adumisha ukumbusho wa kifo na ufuko wake mwanao, tunakutolea mkato wa sema na kombe cha wokovu. Na kushukuru kwa kuwa umetutaisha kusimama mbele yako na kutumikia. Tuna pia tunakusihi kwa nyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mimi na damu ya Kristo. Tukusame na Roho Mtakatifu tupate kwa jamaa moja. Kwa Bwana ulikumbuka salako, lililo linapopata duniani likamisha katika mapenzi. Pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Filipo na Waclaire wote. Wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufuko. Hasa mjumbe wake Samuel. Na marehemu wote waliofariki dunia katika huruma yako. Pokea okay, kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Na kuomba utuhurumie sisi zote hivi pamoja na mmoja bikira mwenye jina la Mungu na mtakatifu Joseph na wake wewe bikira. Mitume yenyewe na watakatifu wote waliopenda zangu kaa. Tusali kushiriki kuzima amri na kusifu na kutukuza kwa njia ya mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa njia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake, wewe Mungu wa Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu na apata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele. Amen. Baba yetu yeye mbinguni, jina lako litukuzwe, ufalme wako ufike. Utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni. Utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku. Utusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea na sisi wale tukosea. Usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utoboe maovuni. E Bwana tunakuomba utupe katika maovu yote. Tujalie kwa hema mwana maisha yetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tupoliwe daima na dhambi wala tusibadilishwe na jambo lolote. Unapo tazamia tumaini lenye hii na wajua mwakozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milene. Mwana Yesu Kristo liambia mitumi wako. Amana wachieni, amani ya mwana wako. Usisalame na mbize tula tui mani ya kanisa lako. Penda kulijaria mwana mwana kama elivu mapenzi yako. Unaishu na kutawala daima na milene. Amina. Amani ya mwana iwe daima nanyi. Na iwe roho ni mwako. Mwana kondo wa mungu. Mwana wae dhambi za ulimwengu utuhurumie. Mwana kondo wa mungu. Mwana wae dhambi za ulimwengu utuhurumie. Mwana kondo wa mungu. Mwana wae dhambi za ulimwengu utuhurumie.
tujalie amani Tazameni mwana kondoa Mungu aondoe dhambi za ulimwengu ili kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoa E bwana sisaidi ngie kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itapona E bwana sisi tulilishwa mkate wa meza ya mbinguni tunakuomba sana ili chakula hicho cha mapendo kitutie nguvu moyoni hata tukahamasishwe kwa tumikie jirani zetu kwa ajili yako kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu amina bwana awe ndani na awe roho wako awabariki na kulinda Mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu amina Baleo sema semeisha nendeni na maana ya Kristo. So mshukuru Mungu asante Father. Emaomba yetu Maria, toomba sana e mama, usituache gizani kwa mwana wetu ombe. Emaomba yetu Maria, toomba sana e mama.
Wah, wah.